Hi, good morning everybody. As you can see right here, the DNR is very busy this time of year with the sturgeon spawning season underway. In fact, they netted this massive fish uh, right along the banks here of the Wolf River uh, where you can see them up close. It's incredible. I'd like to introduce you to Ron Brook. He is a DNR sturgeon biologist. Good morning to you. Good morning, Angela. Tell us where we are in the significance of this location. We're on the Sturgeon Trail just west of New London on County Highway X and this is a, a very important site for spawning because it, it's, it's a long site fish really like to spawn here and it's one of the few sites in the world where you can actually go and watch sturgeon spawn right at your feet. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this site, Bamboo Bend in Shiocton and then the Shano Dam up in Shano and those are the three major public sites. We have about 60 spawning sites on the river, but those are the three major sp public sites. And I don't know any place else in the world where, where so many people, thousands of people can get out and actually view these magnificent fish right at their feet. How is the spawning season looking this year? Because weather pay plays a role, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's looking pretty good. <clears throat> we have um, about 20,000 20, fish that are up here spawning every spring. And uh, regardless of how high the water is or how low the water is, they always find the spots to spawn. Not all the, not all the spawning sites work every year, depending on the flows, <clears throat> except for these major sites like this one here works pretty much every year. So it, they, they, they make it happen. And with the spawning season, we see these two men over here. We're going to talk to them real quick, Ron. Tell us the importance of the Sturgeon Patrol, the Sturgeon Guard. The Sturgeon Guard program is important for uh, as a deterrent to poaching. Years ago, there was a lot of poaching that took place. And so the, since 1977, the public <coughs> has been coming out here and volunteering to babysit these fish 24 hours a day. This is funded in part by Sturgeon for Tomorrow, and we couldn't do it without these people. And we've got Joe and Chad, from both from Oshkosh. Uh, tell us how long you've been doing the Sturgeon Patrol and why you do it. I've been doing it for three years. It's kind of my contribution to preserving something that's needs to be. Mm -hmm. And and Chad, what about you? I mean, is this a, a neat opportunity for you to do this? Yes, it's a neat opportunity. I've also been doing it for about three years. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching over our uh, uh, the fish, I guess. I mean, you guys have play a very important role, as, as Ron said. Thank you for talking with us. So, yes, you can see the fish here now along the Sturgeon Trail, uh, just outside of New London. And this weekend, Ron, the hot spot will be hopefully the Shano Dam. Hopefully Shano Dam, the big show should take place there this Saturday and Sunday. All right, and we'll try to get some of those sites listed on our website, fox11online.com. Back to you guys.